Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And do you guys notice that big box that was right here? Is it right here? Well, that's because it's in my truck. And so is the bag that that big, the big, huge Joanne bags that you can get. That one is all filled up and it's ready to go. And look, I have some more right here that after I do this video, I'll be adding to it and then bagging them up. And uh, look at there. So this is a, um, a donation video. And uh, no, I don't have a lot. Should I? Why, yes. Yes, I should. One, two, three, four, five. Um, okay, I'm not sure. I know I, one, two, three, four, five, six, I think, seven. I don't know. Um, okay, so, um, I have this, this scarf right here. It's a Karen Simply Soft, um, in the color abyss so there we go there's that one i have one. Oh look i have another one let's see can you see the the patterns are all kind of different so there's number two how many do you guys think i have of this one um Oh, look, here's another one. This one's number three. Oh, look, here's number four. Okay. And the last one of these, here's number five. There is another one that is already um, in the back of the truck. Because I got six of these on sale for a dollar or something. So, there's five of those. Um, I have this one right here. This one is super small. Um, this is more kid size. Um... So maybe there's a kid that can use it. Uh, this was made with the Big Twist Gentle. Um, and I have a hat made out of it also. So um, I thought I had more of this than I did. I thought I had three full ones. Um, it ended up being um, one full one, a third three-fourths of one and like a fourth of one so only like two but I made it work as best as I could so there's that okay so that was five right there those abyss ones I'm not counting these right here so these went um are in honor or memory of Genevieve Cassie Darlene, Denise, and Bonnie. I, uh, <laughs> yep, I still owe, owe some more, and I owe even more now, of course, but, uh, this is kind of a, what ha happened was, and, uh, I'm going to tell you, you see this box down here, uh, right here now? Well, um, what had happened was I bought a, uh, you guys see Persephone climbing in the bed that she thinks is her bed? Uh, yeah. So, there we go. She thinks somebody made that just for her. No, that's mine, but I let, I let them sleep in it every now and again. So... What had happened? 
I bought this um, this new thing. Well, I was going to show you said new thing, but I don't see it. Seriously? I just, I just had it in my hand. Oh, there it is. Um, so, I bought this thing right here. It's called an electric knitting machine adapter. Yeah, that's what I bought. And, uh, you know that brand new... Um, knitting machine that I had, past tense being the operative word, had. Well, yes. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna tell you now. If you ever get one of these, don't over tighten it, because once it's over tightened and you tightened, <coughs> and you hear that click, it's too late. Um, because that click meant that you broke it. And um, super glue and all those other kind of glues don't work on plastic. They go around and around and around and around. I still have the guard on here. So, uh, because I'm near the cats. So, what did Lala have to do? Lala had to buy herself a new knitting machine. Lala was not a happy camper, but Lala only had herself to blame. Persephone, isn't that right? Yes? Okay, so I need you to come off of here for a minute. And, um, so yes, that's what this is. All righty. So, now, this next time I do this, Maybe I'm going to let a dude do it because, you know, dudes are supposed to know things about dude stuff. And, um, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that because if a dude breaks it, I'm going to be really mad. If I break it, I'll be mad at myself and I might just say, you know what, I'm not donating stuff anymore. That would never happen. At least I think that's what this is. It might not be. I don't know what this is. How about I get some... I don't think this is what I want or no. Huh. Maybe it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. It says it is. Okay. This is not the box that I normally see it come in. So, it had me a little um, confused. Yeah, that's the box that I recognize. Okay, so, yes. I broke my brand new knitting machine. I had only had it for a couple of months. And um, that part that holds the handle on, that's what I broke. So there was a, no more handle. Uh, looks like a good spot right there. So in this box, is my new... Knitting machine. There we go. And I'm going to be very, very careful. I don't know. I might just... <laughs> I don't know. I'm a scared to try it again. Thank you. For my order and support of our small business. You are very welcome. So. Once again. Here is my new. 
knitting machine. Right there. And once again, I am going to try the electrical turner or spinner. I'm just not going to over tighten it. Over tightening, not, not, not good. All righty. So, um, I have some happy mail to show you tomorrow right here. And I tell you, this is the most ingenious way to send happy mail. Never thought of it until Laurie did. And I was like, whoa, this is super cool. So, I'll be sharing some happy mail tomorrow. Um... I showed you my new Addy. I'm getting ready to go play with it now. I just dropped my son off from work. I'm going to try and put this together real quick before I go upstairs in the house and go to bed. So, with that, thank you guys so very much for watching. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Well, hello everybody, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and going to two places today, but first, do you guys notice anything? Do you see something that happened? <gasps> it snowed last night. Oops. That's all right. That's my stuff that's rolling around in the front for... I'm going to knit night tonight. I haven't been in quite a while. At least that's what it seems like anyway. My friends have been texting me. Where are you? So, here I am. But first, my first stop is going to be to the bread line. And I'm taking that big huge box that I had on my chair and a big old bag of hats and scarves so yes I am super excited to drop those off and yes it snows it's not snowing now actually it is snowing just a tiny bit I have sunglasses on I can't really tell But, there's snow. Well, it's melted off the roads. It is more than likely here to stay. So, here we go. So, what should I get done on my fingernails? I have an idea. But, uh... not sure yet. I'm thinking Halloween for definite sure. Who knows? You know, I think I know somebody who lives around this area. I don't know where they live. I just know that they live somewhere around here. I have no clue where. one of these streets somewhere to the right I think but that's all right I'm, I'm not gonna go and sneak and find out if anybody is there that's creepy be fun but no I'm teasing <laughs> oh yeah okay so um you guys asked about the swans do they stay here all winter this is the latest I have seen any swan stay. Um, I went back the next day and I did not see them. So maybe they have flown south already. I kind of hope so. There are a couple of places along the China that do not freeze. But... Um, I, I, I know we have a lot of resident ducks... And I'm looking over right now into the gravel pit and I do not see any swans. So hopefully they have flown south or have found somewhere 
to stay. some help in it but um, for the most part it was destroyed by the goats and you know I I hate to buy a new one but I have duct taped and everything I can um, and it's just it's finally saying it's time to buy a new one um, but I don't know I've got to find somebody who can put it up for me would say I would park in the garage but my truck won't park or won't fit in the garage and plus that's where the chickens are the chickens have for the winter again a three-car garage a heated three-car garage chickens are special We are on the outskirts of North Pole Fairbanks, I guess you would say. I'm not exactly sure where Fairbanks starts, but it's all good. We are going into Fairbanks. One of my normal weekly trips, I go at least three times a week. I used to go every day when I worked, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. Yep, nobody could pay me enough money to go back to work. A million dollars an hour is the only thing I would consider for going back to work. get my windshield fixed. Uh, I might eventually. Maybe in the spring. Oh wait, I said that last time. <laughs> okay, maybe in the summer I will when all of the gravel is off the roads. Right now I'm just uh, winging it like everybody else. There are not very, I guess, there are quite a few people that do have full windshields. But there are a lot of us that do not have, or that have a crack or 12 in them. Mine started out as a, a stress crack, I think. And then it kind of went all over. But, yeah, I don't have any any cracks from a rock or anything. Mine was just a stress crack. Can you guys guess what color I'm wearing? I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count. first and then a pedicure 
I'm still trying to get used to those with my ticklish feet. Look at there, Badger Cab has an orange truck. I might have to steal it. <laughs> I've often thought about getting mine painted a neon orange, but then everybody says that I would be a speeding ticket magnet. So, um, I have opted out not to get it. But I'll tell you who's getting a speeding ticket are those people in front of me. 40 miles per hour and I know they're going more than 50. And no, I'm not going 50. I'm going 42. So what do you think of our first snow? It's so pretty. I love snow. And now that it's hockey season, it there should be snow on the ground. Oh, I guess I could tell you the temperature. The temperature, according to my truck, is 32 degrees. So, we're staying in that freezing zone. There's our new, uh, bike walk path that I've only ever seen one person, well they're still not quite done with it but at least one person has used it
jokers to the left clowns. I don't know. Here I am stuck in the middle with you. Okie dokie. I know you guys didn't sign up to listen to me chatter all the way to Fairbanks. I couldn't sing though. <laughs> yeah, not gonna do that. I love you guys. That's why I won't do that. Clowns to the left of us, jokers to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. I think that's right. Somebody let me know if it's not. section ever, but that is okay. I don't know what they call this intersection, but um, it's there's only two in the United States, and we have the second one. And if you're wondering what those poles with the black and white, those are supposed to look like birch trees. At least that's the only thing I can figure. That it's supposed to look like a, a birch tree. Oh, and it's still snowing. What are you guys doing this fine day? I'm gonna go have some me time before I take my son to work, which is one of the highlights of my day. I get to give him a hug and a kiss every day. And at 19, he still does not tell me, Ew, gross, Mom. You gotta love a boy like that. You gotta love any boy. Gots to love the boys and the girls. I think I kind of went over, did it with my hat today. Uh, you'll see it in just a minute. <laughs> but this was a gift from um come on cars uh, it was a gift oh I see her face right I just had it on the tip of my tongue I see her face Okay, I hope there's still somebody here. I see a, a homeless person, so I might have to cut them out. All right, so let me, I'll be right back.
I don't think you could see her face or his. I'm not actually 100% sure. <laughs> I feel bad. I asked if they needed help up. But, um, they didn't. So, all of, all of that work is done and... Now it is time to go over this. Bump. Oh, nope, I hit it just right. All righty. I guess they were having a training in there for volunteers on cooking, which was kind of cool. There was like about 10 people in there and they were cooking.